When you're asked to find the set of solutions between 0 and 360 for this equation here, okay, you first of all go back to the um, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1 in the exam. Okay? And then we can use this then to get the other results that we've just seen. Okay? Now we want the result that connects tan squared and sec squared here okay? because that's what the equation has got, tan squared and sec squared. So remember, to get tan squared from here, I need to divide by cos squared, don't I? Okay, um, because that will give me tan squared. But of course, I need to divide this by cos squared as well, and this by cos squared. So I get my result. Okay, so sine over cos is tan, so it'll be tan squared theta. Cos squared over cos squared is one, and remember that one over cos is sec, so one over cos squared is sec squared theta. So there's my result there, okay? You may choose to remember this result, okay? So you don't, you don't need to go through this process, but it's, this is a good way of checking, isn't it? U using this identity to get to the result we're gonna use here. Now, we're gonna need to substitute, okay? But we've gotta be careful how we substitute. We look here at our equation, okay? And we've got a choice, right? Um, we've got two choices, okay? One choice will be the wrong choice, the other choice is the correct choice. So we're either going to replace the tan squared, okay, or we're going to replace the sec squared, okay. So you know, if I replaced the sec squared, I would replace it with tan squared plus one. I'd substitute that in there. However, that would be the incorrect choice, okay. What we need to do is replace the tan squared, okay, and we'll do that by rearranging this. The reason why we need to replace the tan squared is because I need everything on here to be in terms of sec, sec theta, right? We'll have sec squared as well in there. But I need that because of this here. You look at the sec theta we've got there. We cannot change that, right? That is sec theta. We can't change it. We can change this. We can change this, but we can't change this. So because we can't change this, we need to get everything in terms of sec. Okay, so the tan squared I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to substitute just by rearranging this. And that's easy to rearrange, isn't it? Because I can say here then that tan squared is simply sec squared theta minus 1. Okay, so take the 1 over. Then we're going to substitute this in. Okay, so I've got 6 tan squared. Well, tan squared, okay, is that. So we'll put sec squared theta minus 1 there. Minus then the 6, and that will equal to then... Okay, so we've got 4 sec squared theta plus then um, 5 sec theta. Okay, so it's a simple case then of um, simplifying this. Okay, so I'll replace my tan squared with that there. So I get 6 sec squared theta minus 6 minus 6 equals 4 sec squared plus 5 sec theta. Get everything to one side, and you'll see then that we have a quadratic, okay? So I'm going to end up with 2 sec squared, yeah? Because I've got 6 sec squared, take away 4 sec squared is 2 sec squared. 5 sec theta, take it over, become minus 5 sec theta, and then minus 12 equals 0, okay? Right, so that's it. We've simplified it, and we've got a quadratic equation here. Now we've got to solve it, okay, because we've got to get angles, haven't we? Okay, to solve the quadratic equation, we're just going to factorise it, okay, and when you factorise it, okay, you can go through this, the process that you're used to, okay, um, I'm just going to do this quickly, okay, because I've got a feeling I know what it's going to be, so we're going to have here, um, I think that's going to be four there, and we're going to have three there, okay, and that's going to be minus, that's going to be plus, equals zero. Okay, so that's me factorising there that really quickly, but you, you've got your own process of factorising or quadratic, and I'm sure you'd, you'd work that out there um, yourselves and, and get to this situation here. So what you do then is when you've got a pair of brackets equals to zero, you put the first bracket equals to zero, or the second bracket equals to zero. So in this case then you'll have sec theta equals to minus three over two, or sec theta equals to four, okay? 
And remember then, sec theta literally means 1 over cos theta. Yeah? And the same here, 1 over cos theta. So what you do then is to solve it, you need to get it as cos theta. So we're going to flip that. And then we're going to flip this as well. So you, if you flip that, then you'll flip this. Okay, because that's like 4 over 1, isn't it? So flip it, you get a quarter. So all I've got to do then is work out what those angles are. So if I do cos to the minus 1 of 2 thirds. Cos to the minus 1 of um, minus 2 thirds. So theta will be 131.8. Degrees and the same here then cos to the minus one of a quarter and I get 75.5 degrees. So you need then to draw your cos graph for both of them. Okay, so I'm going to try and do this quite quickly because the video is dragging on a bit. So with your cos graph, remember, right? I mean, we will measure these out. I think it's wise to do this. Take our time on this, so two centimeters there to get this accurately done accurately. So the cos graph then okay between one uh, minus one. Okay, so there's your 90, 180, 270, 360. So for the first one, it's minus two thirds, isn't it? So minus two thirds will be down here here so you get your two angles there so the first one is the one we worked out which will be uh, 131.8 the second one then will be here now due to symmetry 131.8 all along here and then 131.8 going backwards from 360 so we got 131.8 or 360 minus 131.8 okay so you can work that out there to be 228.2 and then the 75.5 one is the one we've got it equal to a quarter so where it's equal to a quarter that is 75.5 and it's the same then due to symmetry for that it'll be the three so theta be 75.5 or 360 minus 75.5 so we get 75.5 and then that'll be 200 and something, 184.5, I think. And job done, we've got the solutions there.